Hey, 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 sports fans, welcome to Sports Unfolded, very special 2024 NBA Finals show. I am your host, Eric, the big dog in the house right there. Kenny, how are you? And the main, my main man right there on the bottom, Ron from Sports Unfolded, has joined us tonight for our NBA show. Yeah, I Lots couldn't miss to, this one. Right? Lot to yeah, talk about. Good. So excited. NBA Finals have been uh, set here with the Boston Celtics versus the Dallas Mavericks. We are going to get into that uh, rather shortly, but we definitely wanted to talk a little bit first about this Caitlin Clark situation and kind of what we think. I mean, it's the big story going on, and I know we talk NBA, but we're talking WNBA as well. All kinds of basketballs. If you are joining us live and want to talk about it as well, let us know your thoughts. But we're going to start off with this Kennedy Carter versus Caitlin Clark and, and kind of what you gentlemen saw in that game, the Indiana Fever uh, versus the Chicago Sky and, and kind of just, to me, cheap shot by Carter. Your thoughts on what happened in, in, in what should have happened. I, I believe there was some fines thrown out. Nothing crazy, but your thoughts. Okay, Kenny. My thoughts is just, it's it's just crazy. It's just crazy. It was a cheap shot. There's, there's no welcome to the WNBA about it. Okay? All right? I don't care if you're talking trash on the court. That's the whole thing about talking trash on the court. But you don't have to assault somebody. You don't have to assault somebody. And what pisses me off is that her teammates are over there snickering, ha, ha, he, he, ha, ha, he, he. You need to go to her defense. Yeah, li listen, I Kenny, I, I look at it this way. A lot of these women are jealous of Caitlin Clark, her success, what she's gotten already from Nike, Gatorade, right? Like all these. And I look at it this way. She has put more eyes and more people in your seats than yeah. ever before. Right. And I can understand, yeah, yeah. right? You can be a yeah. little bit upset about her getting her money right up front before she's yeah. done anything in the league. Yeah. I would get that part. But I also yeah. would look at the part that she's going to get more money in your pocket. And yet it seems like most of these players are legitimately either trying to hurt her, to shut her down, to make her less of a player, which ultimately will hurt that brand Yes. And your league, and then take eyes away again, which is yeah. what blows my mind in this whole situation. Yeah, it, it's actually kind of despicable because, you know, first of all, yes, I understand, you know, you're you're out and yet she's playing for the other team and you don't like the other team. I get all that. But when it comes down to it, what you just said, she's putting money in your pocket because okay. More people are turning out for the WNBA than ever. And those salaries are going to climb because of it. So you should be thanking her rather than taking cheap shots. And what's worse than that, what's worse is the teammates snickering and not standing up for her. Yeah. That would never happen, you know, in any league. And it shouldn't yeah, I, happen there. You know, if you're doing that to a rookie in the NHL, you're going to have 17 other guys on you for the whole game. And they're going to keep running at you and running at you for doing what you did. And it is despicable actions from the teammates as well. Yeah, I, I, I'm a little disappointed uh, because if you look at TV ratings have gone through the roof. Right. They now have chartered planes, and I'm not. I know this was kind of in the works before Caitlin got there, but you look at the fact that this league is growing now. She's Absolutely. put thousands of eyes, kids. And Kenny, I'm going to ask you this question: Currently in the NBA, who's the most popular player, or one of the most popular players? I were, I were, um, Asa. I, and, no, no, I'm not talking WNBA. AJ Wilson. Oh, oh, oh. I'm talking him in the NBA. Who would be one of the big stars right now? Kind of won four championships. Plays LeBron in the James. West Coast. West LeBron Coast. James. No. LeBron James. Cur the other guy. Steph, Steph, Steph Curry. Curry. Right? Steph Curry. <laughs> if you look at Caitlin Clark's game, 
It's a lot like Steph Curry. She's yes. brought that to the WNBA. Like yeah. that is why people are attracted to it because there's so many people right now that love Steph Curry and that game and that style yeah. and the shooting that he has brought to the to the NBA. Yeah. yeah. We didn't and see half court three point shots in the NBA. Averaging Eric averaging no. seventeen point six a game a game with six and a half assists. She's doing her job. On a yep. very poor team, she's doing yep. her job. So yep. she has brought eyes to a team that is terrible, but yet she is still performing at that level. And it's just jealousy with other players right now. Yeah, it's it's pure jealousy. It, it, it's sad. And, I, and I'm afraid that somebody's going to legitimately try to hurt her. And, and that's where this league really has to start to take some accountability to these players and yeah. say, look, enough's enough. Yep. Because she's you taking got, shot after shot. Go ahead, Ken. You got to protect your moneymaker. In the last 27 years, she has had two games where, was it, 3.2 billion people have watched it? Isn't it crazy? It's crazy. So you got to protect your star. You got to protect your moneymaker. She is the biggest commodity the WNBA has. And I might add, Probably one of the top 10 in sports right now. Yeah. 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 And to me, these women should be more embracing of the yes. fact that, hey, thank you for what you're going to give the opportunities to us now. Absolutely. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and, and it's a complete opposite. It's crazy. What an incredible story this has been. Uh, I'm sure it's going to continue. But listen, we've got a lot to cover because – we weren't gonna we weren't gonna talk about the WNBA, but this was such a big story, and I know Kenny, you were really passionate about it. But we're gonna talk about uh, you know what we're really here for tonight, and that's the NBA Finals. They are starting Thursday, and we wanted to talk a little bit about some of what we think is going to happen, some of the players, and then uh, at the end of this, gentlemen, we're gonna have to pick a winner. We're going to have to pick uh, poor Joe Missoula getting bunny ass. Oh, poor Joe. Poor so, Joe. gentlemen, Dallas versus Boston. Boston, the best season, or best record this season in the NBA. What's the expectations going into these this series? What can we see and who should we be looking at? Defense, this is defense, where you defense. gentlemen participate. I'm yeah, <laughs> it's Kenny's show, so I mean, I'm I mean, go first. <laughs> defense, defense, and more defense on the Celtic side. Uh, offense, offense, offense on the Mavs side. But we'll see who gets the better of the other. Yeah, it's going to be pretty interesting because when you start looking at, you know, the the talent level of the players. Look, I have Luca number one. Luca's number one in this game. Okay. And I even have Kai, Kyrie at number two at the mm. moment. Mm. That is debatable. It is debatable. Um, but the problem is that's on the offensive side of the ball. The problem also is for Dallas, they have to play a very solid defensive Celtic team. Now, I thought they were they were great defensively, you know, back when they had Smart and Williams and the whole cast of characters, right? This is a different beast because not only – and I'm guessing that Porzingis will be in the lineup for they a already couple said of games. Yeah, he is, he is uh, active for game one. So yeah. you take away any advantage that you had – in the paint right there, just with poison is being inserted. And then you have Horford who performed great in his absence. So now you have those two guys. Okay. Then when you have to play defense against Kyrie, I mean, I'll take drew holiday. I'll take Derek white in that case, because you're just going to eliminate you know, um, Kyrie defensively, he's got, they're going to be going after him all game long. All game. That's who you yeah. attack right there. You attack him, yeah. Yeah. and then you attack the 
the defensive laziness of Luka. So I will say this. Luka Dantich yeah. in the postseason this season, 28.8 points per game, 9.6 rebounds, 8.8 assists. Phenomenal numbers. Those are great. The scary part is this, gentlemen. The, the games they played against Boston in the regular season, they only played two. Mm-hmm. He averaged 35, 15, and 12. Right. He's yeah, going to get his. He's going to get his, and Kyrie's going to yeah. get his, yeah. too. How do you, yeah. Uh, yeah, how do yeah. you control the others? Kyrie averaged 21 in the regular season. He's averaging 22.8 in the postseason. <laughs> the issue with Kyrie right now, shooting 48.5% and 42% from three. They've yeah. got to be able to make sure that they control that number because if he's going to shoot 42% from three, that eliminates some of what Boston wants to do, and that's to shoot a high volume of threes because yeah. their thought process is if we shoot, you know, 35, 40 threes, we make half. If Kyrie's making half, and then you know Luke is going to par in his, this, this, this could shift that series a lot. you got to go into that fourth quarter with a cushion. Because there's there's probably nobody better, you know, than when if Luca's determined, you know what I'm saying? Like he's gonna he's gonna get his in that fourth quarter if they're they're trailing. So you got to be on top of that team by at least ten plus, at least. James, thanks for joining, and go Boston, yeah. James. Go That's Boston. Right. We'll, right, we'll James. take that one. We like that. We like now that. You- now they said they had to play fast against Indiana. They're going to have to play fast against Dallas because Luca doesn't like to run. If, if you see him, he 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 jogs up the court. He's a little bit slow. If we play fast, we can win that advantage. But if we try to match the slow, walk up the court, do this and do that, it's not it's not going to look good for us. And I will say this, Ron. I disagree with you. I think Jason Tatum's the second best player in this series. I yes. think Jason Tatum is not getting the respect that he deserves. Um, yes, he's not shooting as well as we'd like yeah, to see that's, him that's, in the postseason. That's but why I put Luca ahead. Um, uh, Luka Kyrie ahead, ahead but 26 points Kyrie. per game, 10.4 rebounds. He's averaging a double-double yep. in these postseason and almost yep. six assists a game. Yeah. He's so gotta, he's, he's doing he's, he's doing what he needs to do. The yep. key is for Boston to win this series – you're going to get Jason Tatum to get roughly around 30 points per game is, is 10 rebounds. Can Jalen Brown continue to perform at the level he's he's performing at? 25 points per game. He averaged almost 30 in the regular season against Dallas. And then, to your point, what is Porzingis like when he comes back? Right. Is he fully 100% ready to go? Or he's missed a month of time. Yeah. And if you're trying to work him in, guess what? There's not a lot of time to do that. Yeah. Well, the problem I have with all of this, if Jalen Brown is your finals MVP, the Celtics finals MVP, Yeah. the Celtics don't win the series. And I say this because Tatum needs to be the guy. He needs to be the guy in this series with with Luca and Kyrie because he does have the talent to be even the best player in this series. He has that talent, but he's got to show it on the court. He's got to perform in the fourth quarter. He has to do all those little things defensively. And if he's not your MVP of the finals, you are not winning this series. Kenny, Jason Tatum's favorite player is? Kobe. Kobe. He's got to be Kobe in this series. He's got to be. He's got to be. Right? We didn't see that when they played Golden State a couple years ago. No. He needs to be Kobe Bryant. He needs to just say, I'm not losing. Right. And he's very capable. The kid is an immense talent. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he's in a tough city because Boston's expectation is finals or bust every single year. Yeah. Because we've got 17 banners. And the expectation would be is that at this point in of, of his career, he can get it done. Yep. Jalen Brown, highest paid player in the NBA right now. Listen, for Jalen Brown, realistically, yep. though, I and to your point, it sounds funny, Ron. He can throw up 25 points a game, oh, and they consider that a success. Jason yep. Tatum needs 30 plus. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. This is why I say, you know, right now, 
I'm looking at Luca number one, Kyrie number two in the players that are that are in this game. And Tatum has the talent to be number one. He has that ability. He just hasn't done it yet. Not in my book. Not when you disappear in fourth quarters. And, and, and we talked about this in the past, Kenny. The depth of Boston, the Celtics bench, and what they can bring off the bench, I think yeah. – immensely helps them when it comes to to being able to keep okay. guys at bay. Al Horford, Sam Hauser. I mean, he's really got to start to get his shooting going a little bit more. Double P. Right? Yeah. Peyton yeah. Pritchard and what he's been, Double his P. energy level, yeah. right, has gone up. And I really want to see. And then, listen, they brought Drew Holiday in for a reason. Because we talked about Kyrie on their side has the experience. Drew Holiday Woo! has Finals mm. experience as well, mm. and he's won one. So guess what? That mm. to me is a is a, is a, is a Knicks. Like you can just sit back and say, okay, both teams have a champion on their roster. Yeah. Which superstar between Luca and Tatum decide I'm going to take over? That's right. That's right. And that's the bell, Jeff. <laughs> that's the bell. And that's the bell. So. Obviously, for you, Kenny, right? We think Boston's defense, offensively, we know what Dallas is going to try to do, right? The lobs, they 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 try to high yep. fly, right? A lot of excitement. Which style is more likely to be successful in this series? Oh, the defense, the defense, more the defense. It if we can play if we can play defense and the other bench and and our bench is on point. We, we can have success. All we have to well, do is, is slow them down. We have to look for the lobs. We have to play defense, and we have to rebound. You talk about those lobs, and I think with the Celtics' defense, when you when you can actually put out Horford and Porzingis at the same time, uh, those yeah. lobs aren't going to really do a whole lot when they're swatting them away. Yeah. Period. That, I mean, exactly. that just falls right into the Celtics' hands because all it takes is Porzingis or Horford to catch one of those lobs and quickly um, put it out onto the floor, up when, with, like, Brown bolting down the, the, the wing and just gets an easy layup. All right. Next question. Which superstar is going to be more successful in this series? Jason Tatum or Luka Dantich? And it doesn't mean they win the series. It just means they're more successful. I think Luka will probably average his 35. <laughs> and I think I think Kyrie's going to falter. But so I think Luka's still going to get his. He's still going to have a massive game, you know, probably at least 3 of them are going to be big games. But it isn't going to be enough because there isn't enough on that team to to withstand all of the depth of Boston. They could they could shut down Kyrie. They can, I don't think they can shut down Luca. Kenny, it all depends on who's guarding Luca. I, I go with Jason Tatum. I, I go with Jason Tatum. I think he's going to have a tremendous series. I, I think he's going to be on. Uh, only problem is he's shooting 33% from three, two-point land. So his jump is a little bit off. But if he gets his jumper on and he goes to the basket and he can hit that three, I, I, I think Jason got – I think this. And Tatum, listen, Boston's 10 days off right now, so he's got a lot of time to be practicing some shots. So I hope that happened. I will say yeah. this as well, gentlemen. Yeah. A lot of people have talked about – the national media, the Celtics got lucky. A lot of guys out during their Eastern Conference run uh, from Jimmy Butler to, to Donovan Mitchell, right? Indiana with uh, Therese, Tyrese Halliburton. I will ask you this question, though, as well. Can we look at Dallas being lucky and saying they didn't have to face Denver, who would have been a much better matchup? in the Western Conference Finals. So did Dallas not get lucky as well? Oh, yeah, they did. 
Well, they yeah, still had to play OKC and and Minnesota. I mean, come on, they were good teams. Uh, Indiana like, was a very good team. Have a good series. Oh, oh, OKC, too young. Okay, they were a good yes. team. Too young. Yes. Okay. Minnesota. Do I have to say? Do I have to say it? Do, do well, I Minnesota. It? Can, I mean, they had can, like the, the length, I, but they didn't have I, the ability to I, shut down the front court. I was looking for Carl Anthony back. Towns. I didn't see him. I had to put an APB out on him because he, he he I I didn't see I didn't see Cat. I didn't see Cat. No, he was terrible. They actually had signs well, up missing. Yeah. If you find my cat, please. Yes, and, that and pretty I, much is I, what I, happened there. And I don't even I don't even want to talk about Rudy Gobert, okay? All right. I don't even and want then to talk a, about Rudy. And then a 22 year old player who everybody kept telling me he was exhausted. That's all we kept hearing. He's right. exhausted. He's 22 right, he's, years old. Yeah. He's but, Michael but Jordan. He's right? Yeah. That's all I heard. Yeah. It was Michael yeah. Jordan. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. James Jordan. seems to think Tatum's gonna show up. He said, Yeah, throughout. I think he will. I think he will. And then he's going to be fresh. So they think, listen, both of these teams got some rest, which is, yep. so you can't really sit back and say who's who's got a, a, a benefit there, but. No, it, it actually helped the Celtics a lot because it got Porzingis extra time. Yeah. Yeah, I think that definitely helped them. And it gave them some, some of their guys some rest as well. All right. So we're at the part of the show, gentlemen, where we've kind of talked about what we expect, who we think may be big players in this series. But who wins this series? Kenny, you can. You go can. first. I go first. I first. Yeah, let's let's see what, what do you first. think. Yeah, I, why not? I got Celtics and six. Celtics and six. Yeah. Yeah. I, I agree. I I think it's going to be them and six as well. I, I got Celtics this is and six. this is a clean sweep because I also thought Celtics and six. Yeah. I think they finally figured it out. I listen, I will say this as well. For all the criticism we gave Joe Maz Mazzula last year, mm -hmm. you can see his coaching style has gotten much better and improved. James going Celtics in four. He a clean sweep. Not even a I love James because James <laughs> James is more home uh, more home there than any of us. <laughs> Dallas never loses. The Cowboys never lose ever any time. Okay, and now he's got the right. Celtics winning in four. I, wow. I, I agree with Ron in the fact that I think Luca has at least one or two of those games where you just yeah. sit back and go, okay, you, you know what? Chalk him up. Yeah. Luka. Yeah. Yeah. Not you're not, yeah. Nope. Mm -hmm. But no. Nope. Oh, look, hey, they got that killer instinct back. Wait, okay. they had it before? He's talking 80 Celtics. They're, they're oh, back. 80 Celtics. Oh, oh, oh the 80 Celtics. Back. Oh, back. Yeah. Oh, believe. Geez. You got to Maybe believe. That. 80s. Oh, you yeah. You got to believe, gentlemen. Okay. All right. All right. So we all got the Celtics in six. James in four. Uh, it will be. I think it would be a big upset if Dallas does win this series. As crazy as it sounds, I think Boston yeah, has just, be. just yeah. been the best team overall. So we were going to have a little fun, gentlemen, before we end our show tonight. And we're going to do a little bit of uh, Do You Know. And our Do You Know segment is brought to you by <laughs> Do You Know. Uh, yeah. So right. we, we got a finals theme going on here. So we had to have a little fun with the finals. And basically, we kept it in-house with the Celtics and the, and the Mavericks. So first question, gentlemen. Do mm -hmm. you know yeah. which two Celtics, so there were two of them, led the team in blocks in their 2008 finals championship? There were two players mm. that were tied in blocks. I believe it was 1.7 blocks per game. All right. Which two players were All right. they? Okay. One of them had to be Garnett. It had to be. Okay. Um, so I'm going to say the other one is Rondo. Ooh, Rajan Rondo. Mm. That would be a good one. Mm. Could be. Could be Rajan. I'm going to go with Kendrick Perkins and Leon Poe. So Leon Poe, Kendrick Perkins, Kevin mm. Garnett, Rajan Rondo. 
Those are your guesses. Yeah. yeah. All right. I like it, gentlemen. I like it. I, I, I think you might be close here. If you had both just decided to go with each other's pick. Oh, <laughs> it was going to be split. No. Nah. It was going to be split. And that is one, Mr. Ken, Kevin Garnett and Kendrick, and Kendrick Perkins. Perkins. The perk. Led the team, so you guys kind of had the right mentality. Yeah, it's just, you're both yeah. talking you know, to yourself. I just, I just went with Rondo because I remember him having a massive series. He was everywhere. Yeah, and it yeah. would not have put it past him to get some blocks as well. So, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Very. That good. was his best season of his career. Oh my God, that playoff with mm -hmm. Rondo. That was nice. That was nice to see. That was yep. it. Was a very then he good stunk story. after that. Very good. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. All right. So, next one is who led the Dallas Mavericks in steals per game in their 2011 Finals championship? Which player led the Dallas Mavericks in steals per game? Oh. In the 2011 finals, I will give you a clue. Oh, also a former Celtic. Oh, okay. I Too easy, Kenny. Remember. Too easy. Too easy. Uh -oh. Yeah, see, he knows. He knows the dates and all this stuff. Too easy. And my, I, I'm just, I just can't even think of who the Celtic was on that team. At the no, time. Mavericks. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, who the you Celtic said Celtic was on the team. Oh, okay, time. gotcha, gotcha. Um, and what year was it? 2011. 2011. Man, why does it seem like it's ancient? <laughs> LeBron's first champion, right? He lost that, that his first finals. He lost. Yep. See, I want to say this is against the Heat. Gee, like I can't. It's like it's like a block. All I can think of is is uh, Kelly. Uh, what's his face? Olenek. <laughs> Kelly Olenek. Yeah. I don't think I can think of. All right. Kelly Olenek. Guess. We'll go with Kelly Olenek. Yeah, sure. Kelly Olenek. Olenek. <laughs> yeah, Kenny. I know. I can't. Jason, it had to be Jason Terry. It had to be uh, Jason yeah, Terry. Yeah. The yeah. Jet. Kenny, I yeah. gave you that one. I, I knew it before you even said it. Yeah. I knew it before you said it. Led the team in steals per game. Yep. I just couldn't think of who that Celtic was that went there, and I knew I was going to know it yeah. once you said it. Because first I thought it was uh, J Jason K. Uh, no, it was Jason Terry. He was a nice player for them. Yes, he, oh, was. he did such a what, good what job. What is Allen Iverson? <laughs> Allen Iverson. What? 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 Dallas? <laughs> James. Okay. All, All right. right. All right, last one, gentlemen. Kyrie Irving. Mm -hmm. He played for the Boston Celtics. Yep. If you mm. if you don't remember, we're gonna bring we're gonna. Oh bring, yeah, we remember that. We're gonna bring oh, Kyrie remember, Irving. Oh, up. oh, that's, oh, I remember. Mm -hmm. You remember that? You remember that? Oh. All right, yep. so gentlemen, this is for the win. Because obviously, you well, Jay, he got Jason Terry, so I guess yeah, he, we would consider. I can this only loss, tie him. A loss. You can tie him. But considering Ron... it's basketball, that's pretty good. I got to have right. a point. Yeah, you got to have a point. So Kyrie Irving played 127 games with the Boston Celtics in his two seasons. Mm -hmm. Closest to his points per game average wins. How many points per game did Kyrie Irving average with the Boston Celtics? In his two seasons, the uh, 127 Whoa. games. Whoa. We'll see who's closer. Go ahead, Kenny. You can go first. Nineteen point eight. You went nineteen point eight for Kenny. Yeah, I, I okay. think that's extremely low. But Eric, in the Price Is Right world, I'm going to go nineteen point nine. Wow. That is dirty. And so he has to be it has to be under for him to win. But I think it's like 27, if I'm not mistaken. No, Ron, no. you wait. Oh, hold on. We got no what's wrong? No. Oh, no. Yeah, I, I think it's gonna be around. James 27. said 28. 
And he, oof, you know what? You were all pretty close. But the answer was Ron the winner at 19.9 because it was 24.1. Yeah. 24.1 yeah. yeah. points per game mm. is what Kyrie Irving yeah, averaged. I tied you in your own Boston game. Celtic. <laughs> So which, not which, bad, act, you know? which actually is 19.9. Yeah, because I was I was really thinking around 27. So even if I went with 27, I still would have won. Yeah. Yeah, because it would have been three. Yeah. Yeah. So James at 28, though, very good as well. Yeah. That's that was pretty close. So, gentlemen, that has been our show. This has been Sports Unfolded 2024 NBA Finals show. Uh, again, starts this Thursday. So excited. We normally have our regularly broadcast show every Friday night at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Rhode Island Broadcasting. Tune in for that live. We will be talking NBA Finals, obviously, game one Thursday. So you know what our leadoff star is probably going to be. Mm -hmm. uh, and a lot more to talk about as well. Uh, we are Fan Interactive. So join us live chat. James, I want to thank you for joining us tonight as well. Uh, you're always an amazing supporter of this show, so we appreciate that as well. Gentlemen, I appreciate your basketball insight tonight. Uh, enjoy these NBA finals. Oh, Kenny, you have something? Yeah, I got one question. One question. Are you, are you going to talk about tackle football on Friday? They don't tackle anymore in football, so oh, we don't uh -huh. talk about Oh, uh -huh. okay. Uh -huh. okay. I don't know what that sport is. Uh -huh. uh, okay. We are going to talk some Justin Jefferson in a record-breaking contract. Oh, that, that, Larry Allen. Larry Allen, oh, unfortunately. Right, right? Yes, so yes, some, some yeah. sad news out of the uh, NFL world yeah. as well. We will yeah. talk about some of that as well. So yeah. tune in this Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Rhode Island Broadcasting for Sports Unfolded. Uh, again, we will be live and fan interactive, so join us for that. Gentlemen, I will see you <coughs> Friday night as well. Thank you. Enjoy these NBA Finals. And, again, if you're watching us, like, share, follow our show. Watch, follow us on all our social media platforms and all we ever ask for every single show is peace on earth have a good night everybody <laughs>